Hey, what's up, guys? How you doing? It's me, Mr. 4K. So, I'm sure you guys already know about my uh, Asus ROG uh, Strix G16 gaming laptop. And let me just tell you, this gaming laptop, it's perfect for a flight simulator. I mean, the fact that you can go uh, full 60 FPS, uh, in this case, probably, I think I'm getting 70 FPS on this one right now. Yes, the resolution is 1920 by 1200, and I'm using uh, DLSS 3.0. They call it DLSS 3, which is Deep Learning Super Sampling 3, that actually scales the resolution to give you a better performance. Uh, and I get anywhere between 60 to 70 frames. In some instances, I get 80 frames. But uh, I would show you my fraps, but for some reason, it's not recording on the screen. So you'll just have to trust me that I'm uh, that I'm hitting 60 plus frames per second. And here I am in F22 right now, uh, flying an F22. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna speed up a little bit just so you guys can see how smooth that is. Um, again, to be to be getting this kind of a performance on a, a uh, such a demanding game like Flight Simulator, uh, it's pretty amazing. Uh, yes, this is a pricey laptop, you know, I'm not gonna, you know, sugarcoat this, but you don't have to go all the way, you know, with an i9 processor and, and, and 24 cores, and nearly 6 gigahertz, it's a 5.6 gigahertz, but turbo can go up to 6 gigahertz. 32 threads, you don't need all that. I mean, definitely helps, but even an i7 processor with a, or even a, a, a 13th generation i5 processor with a uh, 4070 should get the job done here. The kicker here is the DLSS Deep Learning Super Sampling 3. So I'm gonna start doing some maneuvers here. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and fly low. I'm gonna go to a more crowded place here. I'm gonna go low here. We're gonna just show you how smooth that is. I don't know how well my uh, OBS is recording this, uh, but you gotta remember, uh, I have turned off the VSync. There is no VSync here. And right now on my screen, it's reading uh, 60 frames per second. It goes up from 60 to, now it's 68. Uh, let's go follow this uh, highway right here. That is, uh, that is really smooth. Yes. Uh, someone asked me, is there possible to get 4K 60? I mean, that's really gonna be tough, man. Even with a, with a 4090, people are struggling to, to, to do 4K 60. Uh, it's because the way this, uh, simulator it's set up it, it requires a lot of uh, bandwidth for the internet and it also requires a lot of memory and a lot of cores uh, fast cores I know it's four cores but they have to be fast cores and that could create a bottleneck for your CPU and your GPU so this is something that uh, maybe we'll see get improved on the uh, flight simulator 2024 or at least call it Flight Simulator 24 uh, next year. Maybe we'll see that improvement with uh, the weather changes and uh, tsunamis and tornadoes and snow blizzards and stuff like that. I don't really think of a tsunami, I'm just guessing, you know. Um, but there's going to be like a lot of uh, disaster weather they're going to be implementing in uh, Flight Simulator 24. But for right now, what I'm doing here, 
on this gaming laptop, it's, remember, I'm not even on a gaming desktop, you know. If I was on my 3090 Ti, okay, fine, you know, I'm on my uh, powerful desktop, but I'm on a gaming laptop, and for a gaming laptop, this is pretty, pretty good to be getting 60 FPS, a steady 60 FPS. Let's go to Miami here. Uh, let's fly out to Miami a little bit here. And again, I just want to emphasize, you don't have to get the most expensive Asus ROG Li. You can get, you know, something in the ballpark of 1500 you know, 1300 you know, they'll, they'll do a fine job at 1080p, FHD, you know, but if you want, like, the best of the best, well, then you got to pay the piper. I mean, I don't know how else to tell you. I mean, if, if, if you got to gotta pay the piper dude it is what it is but I'm like super happy with uh, Asus ROG Strix here it handles the uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator like a like a dream honestly uh, I, I can't remember last time I had like a smooth ride like this as I'm having it right now so very impressed Now one shred of slowdown, as you can see here. Uh, I hope you guys are uh, waiting for the video to process to 60 FPS, so you can see it in its uh, full glory. This is a special interest video for all of you uh, flight simulators, and I know I have uh, a lot of you who are actually who have subscribed to me because of a flight simulator, and I have done a lot of coverage on the flight simulator since day it was released. You know, uh, I covered a lot of things, as a matter of fact. <laughs> That's why I have 7.3 thousand videos for that reason. You know. um, every game that I have tried so far on this laptop just handles it like a charm. From Diablo to Street Fighter to, uh, I mean, you name it, Six Days in Fallujah, all of it just runs like a, like a charm. And of course, Flight Simulator is no exception. I'm also impressed with the Asus ROG Li. I know some people are saying that the Asus ROG Li, it's overheating and it's uh, having some issues. I, listen, I have played Asus ROG Li righteously every day, day one, since it was released. Day one, since it was released. And I haven't had any issues, any problems whatsoever. I can only speak for myself. I can't speak for other people because I don't know other people if they're being genuine or if they're, you know, I can't just, listen, what I'm trying to say, uh, you have to take it with a grain of salt. When people are claiming something on, on, uh, on a, on a YouTube video, you have to take it with a grain of salt because you don't know, you don't know what's going on behind the scenes, you don't know what's going on behind that camera, on that video, it's heavily edited, etc, 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 etc. Okay. And you should always have your doubts. You should have doubts about me, about everybody, because you don't know, you're not there. But I can tell you from someone who paid his own hard-earned cash, you know, $600 for that, $700 for that device. I can tell you that I have no issues, I have no problems, I've done tons of videos and I'm still working on a bunch of videos uh, on that uh, Asus ROG Li and I haven't had no issues, no problems, man. And, and uh, If there is an issue, you will hear it from me, I'll make a video. If there is a problem, and if I do encounter some problems on it, you will hear it from me. That's how I treat all of my products that I that I purchase. Uh, if there's a problem, okay, I will address it. I will let you know. But if there is no problem, I'm not gonna make something up just to start a controversy. I don't do that. I'm not into that. that that's not me. I don't do that. Uh, others, other people, they do that to make a quick buck. That's on them. But me, nope. 
I don't do that. So what I'm trying to say is, let me open the gear. Well, I'm going too fast, too fast. I need to slow down. So I cannot open my gear. I cannot open my gear till till it's ready. Till it slows down. Hold on. Maybe now. Oh, there we go. Let me see if I can if I can land this properly. Oh, it looks like we're not gonna make it, are we? Uh oh. Are we? Are we gonna make it? Alright, let's see. Made it, made it, made it. Alright, I think we can make it. Alright, let me see. Alright. It's a bit of a stretch, but all right. Well, at least we made it. You know, as long as you land, that's all that matters, guys. At the end of the day, as long as you land, that's all that matters. All right. So, uh, so there you have it. Um, I made this video for those of you who are uh, playing Mike's Flight Simulator. Look, Aces. I love Aces. Uh, Repu listen, Repu Republic of Gamers is definitely my top choice when it comes to gaming laptops. Uh, Republic of Gamers. I know, uh, look, Alienware is good too. I, I would put Alienware in the second place because I had issues with Dell. I had issues with Alienware. But Republic of Gamers, dude, I can't I can't remember last time I had a, a, an issue with the Republic of Gamers. Every Republic of Gamers laptop that I bought since 2010, 2011, it's been working smoothly man I, look it's just me and I'm not not trying to act like a Republic of Gamers fanboy because I'm not but um, I have nothing but great things to say about Republic of Gamers they are pricey they are expensive but hey it's like Lexus it's like Mercedes uh, AMG you get what you pay for you know you can buy some cheap Lenovo but don't expect good quality don't expect good performance right when you purchase Republic of Gamers, you know you're getting a good quality. So, just a short little video. Um, well, it's not really short, but <laughs> it is what it is. Uh, well, there you have it, guys. I would appreciate if you hit a like. Uh, if you like what I'm doing, uh, then you know what you got to do. I don't need to tell you. I don't need to remind you. It's a common sense. If you like what I'm doing, then you know what you got to do. Okay? And I don't need to tell you here. I don't need to remind you. All right, guys. Have a good one. Take care.